Fit like a bee, Danny Boy here, and welcome back to another episode of Transport Fever 2 on the UK map. Today is the day we're gonna get the A1 and A3s, the Flying Scotsmen's, up and running. So they're gonna come from Edinburgh, whoosh, down here, and they're gonna go to Newcastle. Now, I was in two mines. Uh, mindset number one was going to be to have them go to Newcastle and then keep going along and then bypass York and then go straight down to Peterborough. Is it Peterborough they go to or is it Luton? I can't remember. It definitely doesn't stop at Leicester, I don't think. Uh, we'll just check this quickly, in case I screw this up. I really just wanted to give them like a sort of long section in between so that they had a, a decent run. Uh, Fine Scotsman route. Now, I did actually check this beforehand and then I forgot. Uh, <laughs> as one does. Now, there's a beautiful image here of a map of the train line. Uh, why is my Wi-Fi not working? That's interesting. Uh, let's do that. No, let's go back on to Google. There we go. Right, here is the line. So, nope, this is something else. Slow, Reading, did it, what, where, to see, ah, oh, right, that's the, that's the new route that it travels, here's the proper one, so, no, that's the route of the Royal Scot, right, I've got no idea, I've got no idea which way it actually ran, right, Edinburgh, Berwick-upon-Tweed, York, don't know what that says. I think it's Durham. Something Peterborough, London. Right. Okay. Our route is going to go in Newcastle, York, to Peterborough, and then down into London. Where in London, you ask? I've no idea. Uh, because I think we've used pretty much everything. Uh, our Royal Scot comes in on here. Uh, we may actually have to give it a station of its own. In fact, I might have it come down along here in a station at Peterborough and then have it go along and then go round and into London somehow. In fact, Peterborough, go along there this goes underground to that, but we can't have it come along, and I might actually just get like a station in here or something, a long one, if we can fit it. Right, it's going to be difficult. Don't really want to add any more platforms out here. I'm just going to make just check and make sure everything's being used. Yes, it is. Right, we've got those B-17s on the Great Northern Line that sort of comes up through Leicester and stuff. And we want to go through York. York in itself is going to be a challenge because we're going to have to add a couple more platforms here. That's the B-17 on the East Coast Main Line. So really the Flying Scotsman should run on the East Coast Main Line. But this is a sort of different one that goes out to Norwich. We just want to come round and we want to continue on. Yeah, I was going to go Peterborough. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, right. So, it's going to come round here. We are going to have, we're going to want it to branch off. Which is fine. Uh, give it high speed. Track. How does that look? It looks fine. No... Yes, let's do that. 
so new track is going to be flying Scotsman track. Right, that's perfect. Let's upgrade the rest. So I want this part done, this part done. Uh, it's going to have to come around onto this side because we're going to have to add potentially another platform on here. Now, it's going to have to be a double because it is going to have to go back and forth. Sort of waiting for this fury to move. So where do you go? Central main line. Manage line. So you go London, Luton, Leicester, York, Newcastle. And then you stop. There's a freight train. And then the East Coast main line. Manage line. Goes London, South End on Sea, Ipswich, Norwich, York, Newcastle, and then back. That's fine. Right, all these trains have cleared. Let's push pause. Let's configure this and get some more. Let's go high speed track because it's new. We shall build up that. I want another one at this side. Uh, I then want platforms, new passenger platform, why the hell not? And then just for randomness, I'm going to stick this along there. There we go. Hey, right. Now, this is going to have to come into here at some point. Uh, we're going to have to make it go round here again. Uh, so what I'll maybe do... Ah, oh, yeah, yeah. Okay, we've got weirdness happening there. That's okay, though. I mean, what I might do is have it come on here, then have it branch off and give it a track to itself, just for a spell. So, pull that out to there. Pull that out to there. We'll get that round. Do that to there, that to there, so 120 mile an hour track right there, which is kind of fine. Now when the time comes, those B-17s that are on the East Coast Main Line, I'm going to change them out with Mallards once the A-4 becomes available. Right, now we're going to have to bring it in at some point. Now this area is normally slow anyway, so it won't really matter. Right, let's upgrade that section and that section. Uh, upgrade that and that. Now we're going to want to if possible, get a little section there. Collision? No, no, you're good. No collisions, please. Connect that into there. Pull that down about there. And then we're going to have to try and get this in here. Connection is not possible. I can assure you that it is. Yeah, that one's being slightly awkward as well. Right, I saw it. There it is. Perfect. <coughs> right. I'll get the signals in now. Or else I won't be able to see like anything. I think there is a signal right there as well. And there's a signal there. Right, so that is that section connected. 
Now I'm still pondering exactly what the hell it is I'm going to do down at London. Now weirdly I'm going to have to get this into there before it reaches the other junctions. Now this line that's got the Fury on it as well could and should probably upgrade, should should do that. So let's do that and that. Uh, let's upgrade that, that, that and that. Because this train, the Fury does 80 miles per hour and I might swap them out to have like a slightly more uh, variety. So they're all like they're all furies at the moment, but I might swap like some out to be like spinners or something. Trains that do seventy-five miles per hour, maybe a precursor class. Uh, don't know where you actually go from there. Not the faintest idea. LMS Central. Get rid of that. Manage line. Right, you continue and you go down that way. Okay, so do that, 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 and that. So we've got old track mixing in with new. Slower stuff is on the old track, faster stuff is on the high speed track. Yeah, we'd be as well, be as well making this track out of London high speed as well. So that we shall do. On to there. There, there, there. That crossover will do this line. That's all good. And then this section here. Right, where is our glorious flying Scotsman going to come in at? Now the thing is, if it was, if we had enough room, I'd build a platform out this way. don't think we're going to have enough room, which kind of sucks, so only other alternative is to have it, like stop over here or something, it's going to have to go through Cambridge at some point, and then go into here. Right, so we are going to have to, yeah, we'll do that in just a second, because actually, we'll have to do something like this. Pull that off of there. A couple of buildings will be removed, that's fine. And then into there. And then it's going to have to go... Right, that was obviously never going to work. But I can have it go across like so. Have that go in there like so. Alright, that's like really weird. I actually hate that. Right, move that, move that, move that. Remove that. So if I can get this out from there like so. Right, that's better. Much better. Sorry, road, you're gonna have to go. You're slightly ambitious pushing out to there. And then into there. Right, again, this has done weirdness, but it's pretty close, but it's okay. Do that and do that. Now, I am gonna make it branch off, like over here. 
and then bridge right over there. So get rid of that. Push this up. Right, that gives me a bridge, right? It sure does. It doesn't give me a very fast bridge, but is a bridge nonetheless. That yet yeah, floating. Sweet. Love a floating bridge. Floating bridge is gonna work though. Oh yeah, floating bridge is gonna be fine. Do that to there. And then bring this back down to floor level. Yeah, connect to there. Whoa, connect. No, whoa, whoa, whoa. Go about there or something. I think that might be slightly off. Too much slope. Okay. So that's going to have to come further back. It's a pretty steep slope. It looks like it's sloping downhill anyway. What I'm going to do though is I'm going to get this junction done first. So I know exactly where I'm going to join this up at. Alright, that's okay. Do that out to there. Looks a bit strange, but it's okay. Right, have that go down. Give me that again. We'll have to smooth that out. It's okay though. Yeah, that's not what I want. Uh, is that coming up? Right, so it's coming out there. I want it to go flat along here. And then go into there. <coughs> okay. Now again, as we said, that looks pretty awful. But with the power of smoothing, we should be okay. I mean, there's no pillars on that bridge, and I know that looks odd, but I think with the embankment here as like a support, I think it looks okay. Alright, just hammer the smoothing tool as much as possible. <laughs> right, it does look weird. It's okay though. Alright, so we have that. Alright, we've yet to connect uh, this up. It goes round here. Uh, we will high speed some of this, one, two, and then it's going to branch off that way. Now two trains use that, so we're going to have to add more stuff in here. Right, okay, just high speed that for the moment. In fact, let's have a look at the lines. Give me trains, please. So that's going through. There is another train goes in there. Yeah, but we're going to want a double stop for our Flying Scotsman. Right. 
there's no train in there at the moment so let's get that configured so I want platform new one two three I'm gonna attempt to make it slightly longer if I can tracks one two three four one two three four some of these buildings are gonna be annihilated post haste right that's one gone already yeah this might be slightly odd do that bit as well just because right now <laughs> here goes nothing yeah, yeah 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 you head out that way you are being awkward because there's a signal there but it's okay and then head out to there the building was annihilated that's fine all right and then want you okay that building will be removed that's the wrong side Ooh, that's a hell of a corner maybe have it come as close to that road as possible then oh it just made it just made it round there and then pop you. Ooh, that would have been nice if that had just went in there. Actually, it can go straight in there. And it looks okay as well. Right, let's make this faster. I mean, I would have also have liked the line that goes Newcastle to Carlisle. I'm pretty sure I think that is actually something that exists now what I was going to originally do is eliminate this train here from the line uh, but I'm going to keep it running because it makes a lot of money I will however tell it to tell them to manage line manage vehicles Manage line right at Edinburgh. Wait for a full load at there. Wait for a full load and wait for a minute. That'll free up some space on the line. Now, this is all good. We need to high speed this though. Uh, we are going to need, or did I? I left a platform for the Flying Scotsman to come in. What a genius! Right. It's going to have to come out there though, and then it's going to have to split off that way. And then, off it pops, on its merry way. <coughs> right, this section of track is signalled. So, we're happy with that. However, let's smooth that a touch. Uh, whoa, game's trying to escape. It's trying to disappear into the ether. Want to stop you there. Stop you there. Just have this one stop there for the moment. Perhaps stop that there. Uh, same with this one, we'll stop it there. It can sort of come out to here. Yeah, this section's a bit. Ugh. It's okay. Uh, I want to stop you there. Stop you there. Potentially stop you there. Maybe delete that signal. Uh, we we'll then want this to be a thing now past the airport uh, I 
am going to make this track here high speed as well. Right, push play, let things roll. Track, high speed. Where does it actually begin? Right, it begins over here. Right, that's nice because it makes it look slightly prettier. Don't know why that's there, but we'll, we'll repaint it in high speed anyway. And that section. And then it keeps on going there and there. And then it folds back into there and then whoosh into here. In fact, yeah, yeah. We need to do that section and that section as well. Okay, that's okay actually. Right, continuing on with the signals. We've got the signals for that tunnel. We, the area where it folds in over here is going to have to be done. And so I have one there, one there. Stop you there, potentially stop you there. Stop that, that there, because it blocks that, that junction. I'll have it stopped further up, and it may be able to clear at least some of that. And I'll have that one stop there. Right. So that section is done. We've done this part. Uh, we now need to do this area, so just have that stop there, and anything else is going to have to be stopped up here. Now this can continue on. I think my B17 rolls along this line, so I'm actually going to have that be high speeded as well. Because why the hell not? And then it goes high speed out to there. We'll see it gets something like high speed out to Norwich. Uh, hello? Why is it only doing one side? There it is. That's weird. I think it was just taking its sweet ass time to figure out what the hell it was doing there. There's one of them right there. Going round and it goes into here. Perfect. There's another line can go down there for freight and whatnot. There's a plane coming in. Magical. Right. Now, the section of line where the bridge is. So, we're going to have to have stop there, stop there, and stop there if need be. One and two. Three and four. Other side of the bridge. Uh, stop that there. Stop that there. May have to stop you there. One and two. Gonna have to stop you there. Stop that there. Stop that there. What else comes into here? Just one train at the moment. <coughs> and it is the Intercity LNER London Peterborough. Okay, so we're probably going to cannibalize some part of that. Alright, I'm going to stop the train there. I'll stop this one. Right, autosave is doing its thing. That's totally fine. <coughs> now, big question. How are we going to get this into London? 
I have no idea. Now at some point, if the series runs on to like into the 90s, etc. We're going to need a Eurostar line also. So I'm not entirely sure where that's going to go. I'm thinking, I really do want to build a whole new station. I just don't know where to actually put it. Right, autosave is done. Right, so, yeah, that's going to stop there. I want this to stop here. Perhaps stop the train there. And then we need to high speed this. Okay, uh, tracks that. On and two. This section is done. Now it's it's just bypassing this station here. It's not actually going through it. It's then going to continue on to London. And this has all been done already, almost. Right. Where the hell are we going to go with this? Is the question. Hmm. It's a predicament. Now I could add a station in here. Connect it to both sides. There's no commuter route that goes past there. I am sort of struggling to find out where I'm going to go with this. Unless we'll have one like there or something. Unless we'll have something, do something stupid like remove one of these platforms and make it go in there. if I were to add let's just scope this out actually, I want to check this give me that just make it a 1 right, doesn't like that 120 meters yeah, but 120 meters is small like really small I mean, what if yeah, it's gone. What? It's gone a wall there. All right. Push pause. I'm actually going to delete these buildings here, so I can sort of see. Because I wouldn't actually mind just adding it into there or something. I mean, the thing is, is that actually connected to there? The answer is no, not at all. Right, don't know why, I think it's because there's track under there, it's trying to snap to that. Don't snap to that track, please. Yep, still try to snap to the track. Yeah, shift. No, why? What? Game, please, please. Don't snap to that. Alright, hold the fort. Move this round.
to there. All right, this is this is interesting. <laughs> uh, configure, give me platforms, but put them at the side. Now I was kind of hoping, like one of these would go there. That connects that to that bus stop. Platforms, right, continue out. Not entirely sure how long that is. Uh, tracks, platform, I can get another one in there. Alright, this could be... Right, it's, go it's going down a touch there, so we don't want that. Oops, configure. Delete that. Now, this is now connected to the London tram. And what I was going to do, even though I hate them, was take small road, curvy like, and take it out to there. That's now connected. It's slightly weird, but it's the only thing I can think of to get this train in. Now, tracks, remove that, he's gonna have to. Uh, I admire the fact that you're trying to snap to that. I'm gonna remove that building. We're gonna stick it into there. We'll double slip switch that there. We'll get a signal to here. One there, stop that there, and one there, stop that there. Right. I knew something or other is born. I'll maybe configure this a, a touch more. So, have that to there and there. And then get underground to there and there. Right, it's super interesting, super weird. But it will be connected to commuter routes. People will be able to get to it. I did upgrade the trams, right? Manage vehicle. No, because the, the new trams are these yellow ones. Select them both. Replace. And there we go, 10 to 23. Right, so this is now a thing. Weirdly. I'm going to place a signal right there. So I don't know the length of the station. I wish there was something that would actually tell you what the length of the station is. It's roughly, probably about the same size as that one. So I think we can afford to make it quite long. Now in two mindsets as well of which type of carriages to run on this one. But we'll get the line set up first. So I think we'll start at Edinburgh. Let's head up. Now we've got a request from, a, I think it was Train Gamer, if we could paint one of them blue and name it Gordon. Because for the British people out there who watched Thomas the Tank as a kid, the Gordon like the sort of large steam engine was based on a, an A1 and A3 sort of type even though it wasn't green he was based off of uh, the Flying Scotsman there is actually a website that tells you uh, which locos the like the Thomas the Tank Engine trains were based off of. Right, that is connected into there because we're going to release the first one out of this depot. But we need to get the line set up. So, new line. I want to go here. I wanted to make it a colour I can see, perhaps black. There we go. So, line one. And then you're going to go to Newcastle on 
something other. On a eight. That's perfect. Can you actually lock these? You used to... Ooh, that was dangerous. You used to be able to. Line one. Manage vehicles. Manage line. And Newcastle transfer. Add a station. You're going to keep... You're going to go down. On this side though. So we'll have it pick up a signal on this right hand side. Something is upset. Which is weird. We'll check that out right now actually. Yep, you're going in on there. That's perfect. You are then going to head out. And hit up that. We'll push pause, close that for the minute. Who's upset? Train bloody blah and train bloody blah. Why? How? How is this possible? Why have you come forward, steel train? In fact, who's on the wrong line here? You're on the right line. Yeah, you should have stopped further back so you turn around I wonder exactly how long that's been sitting yeah there should be a signal here uh, right we don't have the old tiny signals anymore but that should stop there so we'll let that move and then we'll turn it round right, it's waiting for a free path Keep going, because I don't think you're actually... No, you're not. Come back this way, at least to this junction. This one's going anyway. Technically, it would be a collision. I think it can squeeze past there. Right, that one will now do as told. Turn around. Just stay there, or clip through that if you want. I don't really care because the day is flying Scotsman day is it actually touching it is horrible accident all that fuels exploded many people died the end right so we got as far as just past York let's click on York station on our way past select line one holy crap that's a weird route uh, manage line <laughs> wanna go to Peterborough on one of these stations on the right hand side, right, that's perfect. You're then going to go along and you're going to go to this station. Weirdly. You're then going to come along, yes, it's branching off and it's going the right way. So if it's going in on Peterborough 4 on the way back, ooh, Game, what is happening? You have chosen something. Not that station. Not that station at all. Uh, Peterborough. Yeah, yeah. Into Peterborough in three. That's awesome. And then goes on to there. Branches out over to there. And it's splitting up and doing something weird here, but then it should. Going to York on there, that's it transferred across. Uh, on the way back, hit up that signal. Because we want you to have your own little line. And then comes back across and goes into Newcastle. On that platform there, which is platform 7. Sweet. It then keeps on going. <coughs> round here, round and into there. Right, that actually worked out okay. So this will be the London North, no, it'll be ITC L N E R Flying Scotsman. 
Skadoosh. Right. First train. Steam, head to the bottom. So, six variants. We possibly could have six on the line. That seems okay. I mean, I might even swap some of the B-17s out for some of these. But we've got an A3. Class A3 Flying Scotsman. Right, this one looks slightly different, so I do want one of these. I then want passengers. Now, I was going to go with these. 130 miles per hour, capacity of 12. I think I might just go with these. 99 miles per hour, capacity of 22. So add one of them. Add... One of them. Add one of them. Add one of these. Add one of these. Capacity of 110, that's perfect. Bye. Set you on a line. Uh, LN, ITC, LNER. Flying Scotsman. Beautiful, first flying Scotsman is out and on the go. But we're not going to look at it because we're going to end the episode. And in the next episode, we're going to launch more. I am going to actually launch quite a few of these, even if they don't uh, make any money. So I'm not really caring if they don't make money. We're going to have a few of them out here. So that is nice. We've sped it up times three. We're still making a lot of money. Which is nice. Right. So we've got our flying Scotsman out. That looks good. This is the, I believe this is the vanilla one. I'm pretty sure of it. <coughs> it still looks good. So you've got to hand it to Urban Games. They do do nice. That's... What is that one? The Highlander? Uh, we'll be able to check it. The Flying Highlander. So, obviously due to license and things, they've sort of named it differently. But it's pretty cool. So we've got the first one on the go. Uh, we might actually let it go to Newcastle, or will we? No, I'll leave the episode there, and then in the next episode we'll get the rest up and running, just like we sort of did with our Royal Scot. So I am actually going to change the the line that's got the Furies on it. I'm gonna I'm gonna mix them up. I'm gonna throw a couple of variants on there. But yes, this thing is on the go. It looks good. Uh, and I'm happy. We managed to get that route sorted out. Obviously the station at London's a bit weird. It was like the only way I could sort of do it. But hey ho, the Flying Scotsman is on the go. We're into the age of super fast steam trains. So that's good. But that's going to be it for this episode. As always, if you did watch this and you would like to leave a like, comment or dislike, please feel free to do so. And if there's more you'd like to see in the future, then hit the subscribe button. I've been Danny Boy, this has been Transport Fever 2 on the UK map, and I will catch you later.